Hello everyone, this is Mohamed Yakub, and I am back again making more STM32 tutorial videos. And this time, I'm going to make a tutorial about this I2C 16x2 LCD display. Now, I already have a video about the 16x2 display using the parallel interface, uh, but this time, I'm going to make one about the I2C. A lot of people seem to favor this. A handy LCD with only four wires to connect. So let's get started. The very first step you need to do is to set up a project in CubeMX. And in CubeMX, you only need to enable an I2C line. Um, so at mine, I've got this STM32 of four discovery board, and uh, all I've got to do is to enable one I2C line. I've got I enabled three of them. Uh, just for my testing, you just need to enable one of them. And on the settings, just make sure that GPIO mode is set to alternate function open drain. And for GPIO pull-up, ensure that it's set to pull-up and speed is very high. Um, it, it could be high too. All right, and generate a CubeMX project uh, in your, using your favorite IDE. Um, I decided to use uh, a Steam32 Cube IDE for this demo. Um, so I created a Plank project and um, the next step you need to do is that you need to include the library files that I'm going to share with you down in the description of the video. Um, I'm going to share with you these H and C file uh, for the library. Um, so you need to copy them to your project. The simplest way to add them is to copy the H file into the include folder and the C file into the source folder. Now you can go further and add your own folder for R squared C display, uh, but I'll do the simplest one for demo purposes. So open include folder and copy the library H file. And similarly, in the source folder, um, copy the um, C file of the library. And then back to your project, um, just do a build and it should automatically update your folders in here. And here we go, I can see the library H and C files. Um, now, next step, uh, just add the include of the library. So a simple include um, LCD um, and then control space, it will add it automatically. So LCD16x2, R squared C dot H. Um, now, let's have a quick look at the library. Right click on this and open the folder. Um, and I will also open the C file. Uh, right, let me give you an idea about the library. So, the library is designed uh, to be quite robust, uh, yet quite simple and very easy to use. Um, so, you've got an initialize function where you need to pass in the R2C uh, handle pointer. Um, and then a function to set cursor first line, jump into the second line for now print something to the second line. Um, and then a list of functions that you might not use, but they're quite useful to use. Um, and then the most important one is the print to display function. Uh, so I've designed this in a way to be very, very easy and quite similar to the printf. So you can print in multiple types, string, integers, um, floating points all using the same function. So that's that's basically the, uh, the the biggest upgrade from the previous library that I had on uh, using parallel interface. So now let's get started. So what you need to do now is on your main, you simply first need to call in the initialize function to initialize the uh, library. Uh, and then uh, you can simply print. So in bigger number two, I will initialize the, um, the screen you need to pass in your I squared C handle. I'm using I squared C1 at my hardware, I believe. So I need to pass in its pointer and I need to check if this one is uh, one, if Boolean one, then it's initialized and communicated successfully with the LCD. Otherwise, your LCD might not be connected uh, or a hardware issue or something. So if this is okay, um, then I know my LCD is connected. Um, and I perhaps want to toggle an LED. Uh, let's say the green LED by UD pin 12. And I want to set this to uh, TBIE 
ooh, pin, oh, set, sorry. Okay, um, there we go. And then I want to use printf to print an interesting thing to the display. So let's try a symbol um, text, the famous hello world saying. Um, so hello world. Uh, let's see the display. Let me compile the project. And we're going to have a look shortly at the LCD um, display. All right, fantastic. You saw that Hello World printed to the LCD display. Now let's try something else. Let's try printing an integer with this. Um, so value one, say, equal to um, some integer parameter to be passed to this. Um, let's say uh, 12. Let's see if that's get printed to the display. Excellent, that got, got printed successfully to the LCD display. Um, now for floating point, in order to print floating point, you need to go to the settings and ensure that you have the printf uh, enabled uh, for floating points. Otherwise, l let's give it a very first try to see how it's gonna look like. So uh, if I'm attempting a floating point of two, two decimal points, and a sound print in 16.58, for instance. Uh, let's see how it's gonna look on the LCD display. I don't expect it to print in the decimal just yet. You need to do further settings. Right, okay, so nothing is shown up on the LCD display. So if you're using Eclipse or System, um, or Steam32 Cube IDE, you need to go to the properties and navigate to build and settings. You wanna to go to the GCC linker miscellaneous section and add this flag. So add a new flag and that's basically the flag. So minus u underscore dash printf and float. Uh, and I think I'm gonna share, share it with you down in the description. So you can just copy this file, dummy file name and uh, add it here and click OK. Now apply and close. And now floating point should be printed successfully. Let's give that a go. Great, our floating points are working and uh, this print function is uh, universal. So now you can use it with any types. Uh, now let's move into the second line. So let me just demo quickly how to print into the second line. You can either print to a certain cursor location or just use second line if we're gonna print into the second uh, line. And I wanna print in um, something, let's say line two. And let's have a quick look at the uh, display and see if line two is, uh, oh, sorry, that should be line two. So, um, back again to the display. Right, and this brings me to the end of this tutorial. Enjoy this LCD display driver and make the most out of it. See you in the next video.